Hello, hello YouTube, it is I, and today I'm back with another Orbital Strike Cannon video, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the Fishing Rod Wireless Network with the Orbital Strike Cannon. To get started, of course, you're going to want a fishing rod, <clears throat> and you're also going to want to make sure that your chunk loading portal, which I pretty much showed in the last video, is right here and is loaded. So you go through here, make sure that these two blocks are lit on fire, go through the portal, and you go to your orbital strike cannon. I'm just going to do a quick recap on how to properly configure the orbital strike cannon. Slash TP5792, 190, So, how to configure your orbital strike cannon? Make sure that when you configure this, you're not touching any of the, the actual input settings because it will, like, just break the entire cannon. Again, do not change these pass, or do not change this. This is the passcode system. You do not want to be touching this. Um, and then make sure that you go and turn this on but before you do that you need to make sure that you are above the bedrock um, roof and you want to go ahead and paste your um, nether side at 724 148 alright you paste it at those coordinates and then you go through the portal and then you turn it on to make sure it's working and if it is working leave that one on and then go ahead over here and turn that one on what we want to do first is you want to make sure that you have carpet and carpet TIS edition installed. I said this before in the last video, you require these mods because without it, your computer will crash. So do slash carpet, optimize fast entity movement, true, and set it to change permanently, true. Now if you do that, your cannon should start working and a good way to do it and a good way to test is do slash game rule spectator generate chunks false and go into spectator mode and if this trapdoor opens that means your cannon is working another way to see if it's working or not is to make to see if these things the copper bulbs are flashing it is indeed working but if it's not working i missed a step you have to make sure that when you turn those portals and chunk loaders on you need to flick this lever off it's usually start like this you need to flick this off and keep this on make sure that you flick this off because the daylight sensor is going to check right here which is like basically it'll it's like a primer for the cannon so if you don't turn that off your cannon will not be primed all right so after that you're gonna go ahead and go back to your um fire coordinates which for me is right here it's gonna be right here this is where we're gonna fire a cannon it's slightly far away from the cannon so it will take a little bit of time to charge and then we're going to TP back to our cannon and make sure that everything's working. So if those trap doors just close, that means everything is indeed working. Make sure your trunk loading portals are on. Do not touch anything with the passcode. And you're going to want to go ahead and go to your control panel. And make sure that you have the Excel spreadsheet, which link will be in this description, on how to use it. So basically how to use it is you're going to input your origin um, uh, coordinates for the cannon. For us, it's 5792. 1184 you're going to input those into the excel spreadsheet and then you go ahead and you're going to want to go ahead and input the fire coordinates for us is 51684254 you're going to input that into the excel spreadsheet and then you're going to make sure that all the, the the buttons and the lights that are turned on in the excel spreadsheet are turned on here and if you want to use the wireless fishing rod network um what you're going to want to do is you want to turn on this chunk loading portal and then you're going to flick this and then you're going to press that button once you're ready. And since I'm ready, I'm going to press it. And then we're going to wait for these to finish. Once this light starts flashing, that means your cannon is indeed working. But once you want to leave the area, you're going to have to pull out your fishing rod, pop it into this fishing rod remote trigger. Once that trap door closes, you can turn off this lever. And then you're going to want to go through this chunk loading portal. Go through. And do not let go of your fishing rod, guys. Go ahead and TP to your fire coordinates for us is over here. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to wait for your cannon to um, finish building its payload. So we're going to do slash tick rate 200 or 2000. And we're going to see if our tick rate is actually set properly. So right here, yep, that sheep is moving insanely fast. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do slash tick rate 20. We're going to go ahead and go into spectator. And then we're going to go ahead and TP to our cannon which is severely lagging right now which is normal it's building it is indeed building our payload so uh right now it's good 
Alright guys, I just turned down the volume for the uh, strike in. You might want to turn down your volume because this thing does get extremely loud. Yup, there we go. And then once that finish, once that finishes, there will be trapdoors moving and pistons. And, the, and our payload just left our cannon. Now you're going to want to TP back to your fire coordinates. And you can see that there's no payload anywhere. And it's right here. There it is. Okay, so it fired really weirdly because there were trees around. So we're going to try that again. Again, go ahead and go over to your control panel. Make sure that this chunk loading portal is on. Turn this on. And flick this button. And wait for these to finish. Once that light starts flashing, your cannon is working. So pop this into there, flick this off, go ahead and run into the nether portal. Don't let go of this thing. TP to your fire coordinates. And now wait, slash tick rate to 1000. Wait for everything to finish building its payload. Assuming that our cannon is done building its payload, since the sun is moving at an insane speed as normal speed and the moon is also moving at an insane speed we're gonna go ahead and set the tick rate back to 20 and as it starts to move slower we know that our cannon is ready to fire so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull and release the fishing bobber and in a second the TNT will spawn and it will summon a massive nuke around the area you want so this is how to use the orbital strike cannons wireless fishing rod network. If you guys want to see how to summon it on multiple targets, you guys are going to want to watch another video right now. But by the time this video is released, it's probably not out yet. And by the time you're watching this, it might already be out. But just so you know, guys, do please have carpet and carpet TIS edition installed on your computer and Minecraft before you play because if you don't then your entire computer will lag and it will explode thank you so much for watching and if you guys do enjoy this type of content like from me like the orbital strike cannon stuff like that please do consider subscribing and liking and turn on the bell notifications so you guys get notifications from whenever I post thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys so much for supporting me to getting 110 subscribers that's a huge milestone for me but it might not look like a big one to you guys. But it is indeed a huge milestone for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be please be sure to like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.